Lovely. Thank you, ladies. And, of course, we need dancers. Hey, 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 hey! What have I told you about running in the corridor? Step will change. And is everybody ready for the studio? Let's check out Ray. Yes, looking very handsome indeed. Thank you, Ray. Oh, it's cheeky. And how are you guys this evening? Are you feeling good? Nervous? Okay, you're going to be okay though. You've got your sequins and sparkles, your head to in, in lilac, and you've got glass, catsuit. You're all doing okay. Good luck. I shall see you on the other side. And most importantly, of course, we need you. Your votes will give one of our finalists the night of their lives because you're going to decide the winner of the 2005 Stars Grand Final. Cue the smoke! <coughs> okay, this is it. Action. It's the Stars in Their Eyes Live Final 2005. Please welcome your host, Cat Dealey. what I love about this show. Where else would you find 12 dancers in gold lame and sequins, spinning ribbons like fabulous showbiz Catherine wheels? Where else but right here? The Stars in Their Eyes Live Grand Final 2005. For the last 10 weeks, our studio audiences have been choosing the finalists who will be singing 100% live for a chance to become this year's champion. Now remember, every week you've been voting for your favourite runner-up. We'll reveal the nation's choice later with a little help from this and a very special wedding singer. Stay tuned for that. So let the final begin. Let's find out who's first with the help of a few famous fans of Stars in Their Eyes. <laughs> Stars in the Rise has been a fantastic experience for me. Uh, on the night of the show, we all went down to uh, one of the local pubs and uh, it was shown on the big screen there and the friends and family were all there. The kids were absolutely mad. They'd never seen me changed into the costume before. Uh, it felt more like I was watching uh, a video that uh, a friend had made rather than uh, a national TV programme that was being watched by millions. Since the show, I have been recognised a few times in the shops in the local area, but uh, to be honest, I think uh, my friends who were the backing band on the night have probably been recognised more than I have. Hi Simon, I'm Samia, I play Maria and Corey. Just wanted to say a quick congratulations on getting to the final of Stars. Thanks. I thought you looked and sounded fabulous as Justin Hawkins, but what on earth did your family make of you in that catsuit? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think my friends and family uh, have all wondered why on earth I'd want to go on national TV wearing a, a, a cat suit like that. The children were more interested in the cat suit, and whether it was hot, whether it was itchy, and, and particularly the tail than, than they were in any of the other details about the show. <laughs> Stars has been uh, an absolutely marvellous uh, achievement. Uh, I'll just go out there, give it my best, give it my all. It's not every day that I get a chance to perform live in front of millions of people. It's really been one of the best things that could possibly happen to me, really. Once again, singing I Believe in a Thing Called Love, live, Simon Hall is Justin Hawkins! <laughs>
to Jen. I like that, I think. So you're, you're first on. I am, I think. How, are, are you kind of in a bit of a weird... Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, another world, I think. Nerves or excitement or...? Excitement. OK. And tell me about going into this classroom full of... How old were the, how old were the kids? Um, well, between seven and nine. OK, so you had to go into this classroom and they sat down in front of you and asked you lots of questions. Mainly what? Well, mainly about the cat suit and was it hot, was it itchy? And... <laughs> And where did you get that tail? Ah, uh -huh, kids are so truthful. <laughs> well, um, Scott, if you could just come on for me for a second. The darkness have actually sent you a very, very special gift. <laughs> Scott, thank you, sir. This is a guitar that has been signed by all of the others. <laughs> and that, sir, is for you. Thank you very much. No problem. Enjoy it. And remember, rock on. Rock on. So... <laughs> It's that way, it's that not that way. way. It's that way, not that way. <laughs> so Justin Hawkins has kicked us off, but will he be rocking again tonight as a champion? If he gets your vote, make a note of this number. It's 090-1121-01 or text Justin to 80088. It's 25p a call, a bit more from a mobile, and please ask the bill payers permission. I can feel you go, <gasps> air, breathe. Please. Not many places to breathe. No, please. I'm sure. <laughs> please don't uh, call until the line's open, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, Simon Hall as Justin Hawkins. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Lycra and hot guitar aren't your thing. No worries. Tonight we have got something for everyone. From pop to ballads to soul and even a bit of West End operatics. So who's next to sing for your votes? Make yourself known, please. Live finalist number two. <laughs> well, when Kat announced my name, as you can see by the look on my face, I was like, I don't know, I thought somebody else had won. You saw the reaction, didn't you? <laughs> well, my mum wasn't here for my heat, but um, she's flown all the way from Jamaica to see me in the finals. And I'm so happy because when I see her in the crowd, it's going to give me such a buzz. And I hope I do my mum proud. Hi, Paul. Congratulations. Hi, well done. We, uh, we were both watching you in the heat. Uh, it's brilliant you got this far, but you were as cool as a cucumber. Wasn't he? No sign of nerves there. But it is the live final. How are you going to cope with the jitters tonight? I think I'm going to do pretty well. Um, once I get on that stage, because I know there's a lot of people watching, I'll be all right. I will be all right. Since I've been on Stars in Your Eyes, I've built up a bit of a fan club. And I'd just like to send a shout out to Kaylee, Saria, Shade, Sophie, and Tanisha. You bet I'll be voting for me. <laughs> As you can see, we're here tonight having a few drinks, trying to calm the old nerves. We're all getting to know each other, and the atmosphere is great. The whole Stars in Your Eyes has been a once in a lifetime experience, and I would recommend it to anybody. Stars in Your Eyes is off the hook. In it. Once again, singing always and forever live, Paul Grant is Luther Vandross.
Oh. Now, tell me about this fan club you've got. How much is the subscription? Uh, do I get a badge? <laughs> do I get a T-shirt with your face on it? Um, what happened? Nah, it's just any, anybody, just the kids. It's, I've got, it's my two um, daughters and uh. my two um, nieces. Right, you know I mean? just really supporting Yeah, just really supporting Now, yeah. I remember the last time you were on, you said your mum was in Jamaica and you were going to send her a tape, but mm. she's actually here tonight. She's there, right there. <laughs> yeah, so when, when she saw you, was she really proud? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mom, <laughs> mom's proud. Well, someone else who is a little bit proud too okay. is the main man himself. Scott, could you just come on for a second for me? We oh, have no. a very, very special gift from Luther Vandross, and it says here, Dear Paul, may you always have stars in your eyes. Much respect, <laughs> Luther Vandross. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, Luther. I knew you'd get it again. Now, if Luther is your champion, then mm. pen and paper at the ready. Here's his number. It's 090 11 210102 or text Luther to 80088. There are eight more stars on the way, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Grant as Luther Vandross. Well done. <laughs> Times, but remember, this is still the only talent show on TV that doesn't promise record deals, big money, or screaming groupies. No, we are all just about having a bit of fun. No pressure. Well, I say no pressure, but imagine singing 100% live for your votes. That's what two more finalists are about to do in just a moment. <laughs> there with your mates having a stars in their eyes live final party you can be a star too by punching up 888 on teletext you can get your very own karaoke machine on the telly and sing along at home you can even read my words so all together now here's star finalist number three Ta -da! When my 
last show I went out on TV, we had a party up at the boat club in Ripon. Um, all my family and friends were there and everyone. Um, it was quite weird watching it because every time I came on the screen, everyone looked at me. Everyone sort of turned around and stared at me and they were just sort of laughing and going, yeah, it's you, it's you. And I was like, yeah, no, it's me. And uh, everyone was just clapping and everything. But it was, it was nice. It was really supportive and everything. So. Hi there, Sarah, or Hi. should I say die? I think you should. Good luck for tonight's final. We've got our fingers crossed for you. Yeah, we've been up there before and had an amazing time on the set, but we were wondering what's been your favourite moment of Stars in Their Eyes? My favourite moment would have to be getting turned into my idol for the night, um, just getting pampered and getting my costume and everything. It was just fantastic. I had quite a few people who I've not sort of spoken to for years ringing me up saying well done, saying how much they liked it and everything. Um, I've also been in a few local papers and local TV on the news as well. It's really nice to have met everyone today and made friends of everyone. We all sort of seem to hit it off straight away. I think it's just a great atmosphere as well. It's more than sort of a TV show because everyone's just making friends with each other. I saw a trail of myself on ITV1 a while ago before my show was on and it was just so weird seeing myself on TV and then um, being from that to the live final it's just, oh, it's just been amazing, everything. I remember really sad when it's finished to be honest because it's just been so good. Once again, singing White Flag live, Sarah Hitchcock is Dido! <laughs>
um, it was good, yeah. Not as nervous as I expected I was going to be. Were you not at all? No, no, once I got out here, I was fine. Yeah. But you've all been getting on so well backstage yeah, as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's so nice. Everyone's just really supportive and they're all cheering all the time and clapping. It's and great. having real fun. And even the people in your heat, you... you yeah, you I've still... kept in touch with them all, texting and phoning and everything. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, somebody who heard about your fantastic performance is, of course, the lady herself, the lovely Dido. And she has, in fact, sent you this signed CD to Sarah. Lots of love from Dido. So that's for you. Thank you. But <laughs> hold your horses. That's not all. Scott, if you could help me over here. That's, in fact, my glamorous assistant there. Now, this is a very special gift from her. And she's written a handwritten note oh, here at the end. And I'll tell you what that says. Uh, dear Sarah, well done for getting to the final. Best of luck with your performance. I'll be watching and cheering you on. I'm very flattered you chose white flag. Lots of love, Dido. And that is the top that she actually wore oh in the white God. flag video. So that is for you. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Well done. I hope you didn't leave. You were so so generous. Now, you can make Dido your champion by calling 090-1121-0103 or you can text Dido to 80088. Make a note of that number and keep it handy for when the lines open. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Hitchcock as Dido. <laughs> well done. Uh, we're always on the lookout for future stars, so if you think you've got the voice, then we've got the stage. Just look up Teletext page 138 for all the details, or call us on 090 11 100 300 for an application form. That's what all tonight's finalists did, so let's find out who's next through the doors. Who are you, star finalist number four? <laughs> I was a reserve a couple of years ago and I thought I was just there to make the numbers up. So to actually get through and then get to the final as well, I mean, it's, it is, it's unbelievable. It's more than I expected. And the winner is... Phil Collins! When I saw myself on TV, uh, I was quite surprised. I mean, I enjoyed it. It, it was a good experience to see it. Uh, I'd never seen myself do Phil Collins before. And so it was something to learn from. But uh, I was also quite surprised that you, you, look, you tend to look a little bit bigger than you actually are as well, so we're, we're trying to address that. Hi Rob, Al Murray here. I'm a Hi, big, Al. big fan of your Phil Collins. Fantastic work. But what I want to know is since you won your heat, have you become a local celebrity? Do people look at you differently now? Uh, I won't say they looked at me differently now. I, I would say that I do get one or two, um, two people uh, noticing the fact that I've been on TV. Yeah, so I do get recognised a little bit more. <laughs> To actually go out there and do a tribute to Phil Collins was brilliant. Uh, as I said before, I'm self-critical. And one of the things that was on my mind when I, when I was doing it was if, if for any chance he saw it, I would hope that he thought that I did him justice. Because at the end of the day, I mean, if I can do him justice, then I'll be happy. You know, at the end of the day, that's all I want. I just want to do him justice. Once again, singing Something Happened on the Way to Heaven live, Rob Lewis is Phil Collins! <laughs>
Yeah, fine, yeah, fine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fine. Um, now, you didn't get much sleep last night, did you? And it wasn't due to nerves. What happened? Yeah, we was in the hotel. It was, it was a full hotel because of the football, you know, yeah, in England course, and Ireland. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And um, quarter past five this morning, uh, the alarm went off, as in fire alarm. Yeah. And uh, we all had to vacate the building, everybody. And I was just like dead to the world, and I heard this loud siren. And I got out of bed and I just, I was so tired, I just couldn't get myself dressed. So I, I went down. That's I went, I went down to the reception just with a towel around me and I just sat there on a chair. And, and everybody every, was fucking fast with Phil, Phil, with a towel around me. <laughs> uh, now, uh, you have uh, been sent this very special presentation <laughs> disc from the man himself, and that's to you presented to Rob Lewis. Oh, there nice you go. One, nice one. You also said, you said before in your take, you said, one of the things I really want to do is do this song justice. So if he is <clears> watching <throat> and, yeah. and, and, you know, he saw it, he would be really proud. Oh, nice one. Let's yeah, yeah, find yeah. out, shall we? Hey? Mm -hmm. What? I just want to say oh. congratulations on, uh, on getting this far, getting to the final. I wish you all the best of luck. Something happened on the way to heaven. I wrote that song. Uh, good luck to you. Good luck to the other contestants, of course. May the best man win. But uh, good on you, mate. And so thanks for choosing the song, too. I'm very flattered. Yes, He's very flattered. Now, if you would like to see Phil mm. Collins take the Champions Trophy, then here's the number you'll need. It's 090-11-210104, or text Phil to 80088. It's 25p a call, a bit more from the mobile, and please ask the bill pays permission. Mm. <coughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Lewis as Phil Collins. <laughs> We knew they'd be back in this final and one previous runner-up who found out in quite a surprising way just this morning they were at a wedding and tonight they're here find out who they are and how they got the news very soon Final. Right across the UK, friends and families of all the people on this stage are watching from living rooms, halls and pubs and of course right here. So if you are one of them, are you having a good time? Yeah. And I can also see a few familiar faces in the audience from previous finals. Nice to see you guys, nice to see you. But whose family are going to be cheering their little lungs out next? Well, let's reveal star finalist number five. Bring it back. Oh, 
On the night of the show, we had a really big party. Quite a few people came round. When I actually came out of the doors um, onto the stage, everyone was so amazed and we all applauded and they were so supportive, my friends. They couldn't believe it with me. It hasn't sunk in yet that I'm going to be in the live final because getting through this heat of the show were really enough. But to get into the final, I've, I've just not come down to earth yet. Hi, Benita. It's Nell McAndrew here. Hi, I Nell. I thought you were a great Shakira. I loved your outfit and you looked absolutely fantastic. But can I ask you, what was it like seeing yourself performing on national television? Um, it was really weird because I, I looked completely different. Um, my friends and family felt that I would look weird as well because they're so used to me being such a shy girl um, and I've actually grown into a woman. So my normal life is, is boring, um, but the Stars experience has been different because I've been pampered, I've been taken care of, it's been a, a marvellous experience. On the night, I think I'll feel really... Um, I don't know, I think I'll feel nervous, but once I'm on the stage, I just let go anyway, so it'll be it'll be a good night because I'll just put my effort in and things will go to plan. So yeah, just can't wait to the night now. <laughs> Once again, singing whenever, wherever, live. Bonita Knowles is Shakira. <laughs> Being stood behind those doors, knowing it's 100% live, you're coming out there, you're coming out to sing, how oh, was that? It was so frightening, but... Oh, gosh, I'm not like this. <laughs> <laughs> how was it as well, watching back your heat on the TV? Was it weird seeing yourself 
it were, yeah, it were really, really weird because I look so, so different. It, it was just not me. Yeah. It doesn't look like, look like me. And you've been a bit of a star in your hometown, haven't you? Doing yeah. photo shoots yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. For my local um, uh, newspaper. Right. Times, Times, so, though, yeah. Fantastic. And tell me, have you finally moved out of your parents' house? I finally moved out, yeah. And where have you moved to? Next door. Yes. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Well, yeah. we've got a thing for your new flat because Shakira has heard that you're on the show. Yeah. So we have this signed picture from her to grace your walls. There oh, you go, Bonnie. Well you. done. Yeah. Well you. done, you. Stay with me for one second. We're going to call them the number. Now, Shakira could be tonight's champion, but only if you dial 090-11-210105 or text Shakira to 80088. Please don't call yet. The lines aren't open, but make a note of that number. Ladies and gentlemen, Benita Knowles as Shakira. Well done. <laughs> Let's meet star finalist number six. Aha! Yes, it's our mystery phone vote winner. Every week our studio audiences have been voting to put tonight's finalists onto this stage. But at the end of every show, we asked you to vote for your favourite runner-up. You did that in your hundreds and thousands, and the runner-up with the most votes over the series is next to perform. This morning, they thought they'd been hired to sing at a wedding, but the wedding was fake, and the blushing bride was bogus. Here's what happened. And you're always there to lend a hand in everything I do, that's the wonder, the wonder of you. That was <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think you can do it all again tonight in the Stars and Rise live grand final? No, no I'm not. <laughs> because you are the no. people's choice. You are the people's choice. They have been making no, in no, hundreds no, of no, thousands no. for you. You're no. way ahead of everybody else, so you've got to come back with me no, now. No, no. <laughs> Congratulations! Well done! Now, tell me, have you brought anybody else with you? Yeah, my girlfriend, yep. my mum, yep. my girlfriend's mum. So where are they all sitting outside? In the outside? car, they don't know nothing. OK, right, well, let's tell them, but let's keep it a surprise. Go and get them and say the bride wants them for a bit of a drink. OK. Go on, quick as you can. Excuse me, Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just a kid. Hello, how are you? Do you know that he is through? He is the viewer's choice. They've been phoning in their hundreds and thousands. And you all have to come back to the studio for us and support him because he's going to be performing live at the Stars on the Rise Grand Final. So can we have some champagne over here? Come on, let's give the girls... Ladies, ladies, have a drink. What do you think? <laughs> Did you expect that? <laughs> Once again, singing Suspicious Minds live, the nation's choice, Gordon Hendricks, is Elvis Presley! We're caught in a trap you do
Big that. time. It was brilliant, wasn't it? You're not going to give me a coffin or anything, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm coming to that in a minute. I'll get there. Hold on. Now, tell me. <laughs> explain to everybody what we said to you about the wedding. Yeah. Because um, we did trick you, didn't we? Yeah, big time. I nearly died when I saw your face, but then again, I married you. <laughs> That's a good thing, isn't Almost, it? Almost. Not quite. <laughs> um, did, you, did you click at any moment? That no, it was a fake? No. Not at all. No. no. And how did you feel when you knew it was you and you were coming back? I was amazed, really. Um, I'd, can I just say a big thank you to Of course you, but, may. I was just about to say. Thank you very much for voting for yep. me. I really appreciate yep. it. Thank you. And at this point as well, I'd also like to say a big thank you to Ray as well and our orchestra. Please put your hands together for Ray and the orchestra. Because it was like being famous. <laughs> now, as you said, there's no coffins. There's no coffee. I can work wonders, but I can't work miracles. I know he's giving you a big thumbs up somewhere in the sky. Hopefully. I'm sure he is. <laughs> so what we've done is we've got this picture of you to remind you of your time here on Thank Stars you. and Owls. But then we thought, that's not quite enough. So you also get to keep the leather suits too. <laughs> 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 so there you go, sir. Thank you know, you. They're all for you, and Thank I hope you. you enjoyed it and you were great. Well Thank done. You. Now, to vote for Elvis Presley, call... Oh, oh you're very hot under there, actually. Um, to vote for Elvis Presley, call 090-1121-0106 or text to 80088. He got your votes once before. Will he get them again tonight? It's still 25p a call. It's still a bit more from a mobile. And you'll still have to ask the bill payers' permission. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Hendricks as Elvis Presley. <laughs> finalists left before you have the tricky job of choosing between them. If you haven't made a note of the numbers, there will be a reminder and I'll be popping up in Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway to tell you all over again. We'll be back very soon. Stars in Our Eyes live grand final 2005. We have just four more famous voices to hear. We've got two boys and two girls, two divas and two pop princes. So, show your face please, star finalist number seven. I'm really proud to be representing Belfast on the show. I don't think there's been a lot of people on from Belfast and uh, I really want to do them justice and I want to do it for my homeland. On the night of the show, I was just absolutely overwhelmed at how I looked on stage. I was sort of kind of proud as well. I was like, this is me now, and that's the way it is. Yeah. I had a few friends down, just had a few drinks, and I was sitting there like this. <laughs> but it was great. I enjoyed every minute of it. Hi, Jim, and congratulations on getting through to the final of Stars in Their Eyes tonight. Uh, good luck to you. Um, and also, good luck wearing that outfit. You've got to be a brave person to wear that. Here's my question for you, Jim. I know that Andy Bell from Eurasia is a big hero of yours, so what's it like being a hero for the night? I've been a fan of Andy Bell's for years, and to be able to perform and sing like him is just amazing, and I can't wait to do it again. This whole Stars and Rise experience has just been unbelievable. I mean, all I am is a barber, really, and uh, it's been a whirlwind experience. 
on the live final night I'll be nervous but it's more like of an adrenaline thing and uh, I just can't wait to do it one more time for my sake and for my family as well because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be here and again I'm just doing it for Andy Bell and I want to win this thing. Once again singing a little respect live Jim Clark is Andy Bell. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Good fun? Unbelievable, just really great, yeah. Now, since you did the show, you've actually met Andy Bell, haven't you? Yeah, on the 24th of February. Uh, took 15 years, but uh, <laughs> unbelievable, yeah. And was he a nice man? Yeah, fantastic. Well, he's actually a very nice man. Because... Lo <laughs> Give me the goods, girl. Give me the goods. <laughs> Live and direct from Andy Bell's wall. No way. Yeah, this is seriously from his house. He has sent you this disc saying lots of love, Jim, and all the best from Andy Bell. So that's for you. Literally, there's a bit of his wall missing. And where is he at the moment? He's in uh, Germany at the minute, yeah. Because you're now close personal friends and all that jazz. Who, uh, Andy? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. doing a gig in Germany at the minute. Right, you know? OK. Well, he couldn't be here, so he actually sent you this message. Sorry we can't be there, but we wanted to wish you the best of luck for the final. And uh, here's a little present for you to wish you luck and um, let us know if you want to come to one of the shows and you can come and meet me and Vince. Just want to sign this. Is that the best? Yeah. Is this show fun or what? 
That is good. I'd encourage anyone to come and do it. It's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. We have fun on this show. Now, if you'd like to see Erasure's top boy become a champ, call 090-1121-0107 for Andy Bell or text Andy to 80088. It's 25p to vote, a little more from your mobile, and ask the bill payer for their permission. But please don't call until the lines open. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Clark as Andy Bell. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Can you give me the mic? I gave him something, he gave me something. Uh, we've just seen Andy, and on the way, there's three more shy and retiring wallflowers. Jazz hands, everybody. Let's find out the identity of star finalist number eight. <laughs> When Kat announced that I'd won, um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it at all, so it was just pure shock, really. Watching it back, however, was very funny because um, my dad's reaction was to like, stand up, Elvis' impression, yeah, it's gone. So that was really funny to watch. Um, and also my brother, he's like bawling it completely, so that was really funny. It's been overwhelming completely because I'm quite an insecure person anyway so I don't go like oh do you see me all stars on the rise and um, oh do you see me win and all this sort of thing so um, it's been really nice when people have sort of come out and go oh I saw your stars on the rise well done so um, it's been really nice and to have all them compliments. Hi Angie this is Kenzie Hello. thought you were brilliant as Sarah Brightman and you really deserve to be in the final but I have a question to ask you how does it feel that you're going to be singing in front of millions of people tonight? <laughs> um, to be honest it's Absolutely petrifying, um, but I hope it sinks in before tonight, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it, that's all I can say. It's just going to be a hell of a lot of fun and I can't wait. The thing I'm most looking forward to about the final is, one, the transformation again, and also being Sarah Brightman singing the song. Um, but I'm not thinking about how many people are watching, because if I think about that, I scare myself to death. So. <laughs> I'm just not thinking about it. So I'm just thinking about the transformation, take it one day at a time, and I'll be fine. Once again, singing Think of Me live, Angie Diggins is Sarah Brightman.
you are fabulous. <laughs> Can you breathe? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just about, just about. Yeah, now tell me about this fantastic party you had what, to watch the show. Big screen. Big cancel, screen. Cancel the football, cancel the rugby. <laughs> Good. You got your priorities right. Yep. Mayor came and everything. Yep, in his chains. Lovely. Everything. Was he there for the free champagne or did, was he actually invited? He was actually invited. Good. Now, we saw you come through those doors there and you kind of went, as though the spirit of Sarah <laughs> came within you. Is that true? Well, I was actually like breathing out because I have to hold my breath before I come out because otherwise I choke. <laughs> oh, I was there so <laughs> romanticising so about it. Like, Oh, I can breathe now. <laughs> well, I have something very, very special from the lady herself. These are all her CDs and she signed them just for you. Oh, That's from Sarah so Brightman. Much. So well done, you. Thank well you done. So Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yes. And for Sarah Brightman, you'll need to call 090 or text Sarah to 80088 if you want to see us use up the last remaining dry ice in Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, Angie Diggins as Sarah Brightman. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> all 10 finalists however just because they're closed at the moment that hasn't stopped over 8,000 very keen callers from picking up the phone thanks very much for your enthusiasm but you're peaking too early move away from the phone computer said no <laughs> we'll see you in a moment can resist it can resist it <laughs> Stars our eyes live grand final 2005. Backstage, there are just two more stars waiting to give it their all for your votes. So it's a question Elton John asks himself every time he has a party. Will Young or Celine Dion? Will Young or Celine Dion? Let's find out who you are. Star finalist number nine. <laughs> When Kat announced I won the show, I was a bit shocked really, I didn't expect it. Um, really, really chuffed though. It took a while to sink in and all I remember is the loud noise when I was walking through the smoke and the doors of the studio audience cheering and clapping. The day after the show, I went into Preston to do some shopping and people recognised me as I was walking down the street. I could hear them talking behind, saying, oh, that's him that was on Stars in Their Eyes. Hi Paul, it's Holly here from Hello. MOM. I thought you made a fantastic Will Young and I also like the little cheeky winks camera as Thank well. You. But what I wanted to know was this, was it like getting back to normal life since you won your heat? It was a bit strange at first, um, I was really hyper for the first week, but then when I did get back to work, my dad would just say, get hold of the wheelbarrow, you're not a star yet. <laughs> have, the biggest thing I've enjoyed about stars really is all the pressure of it. Um, the adrenaline rush before I'm going up. I'd say it's made me a little more confident, definitely. I must have watched the show absolutely loads of times since it's been casted on telly, me and my family. Um, funny enough, none of us are aboard with it yet. It's finally sunk in that I'm going to be in the live final. Um, I'm pretty chuffed to get this far considering there were 40,000 people that applied for the show. Um, I'll just take it in my stride and hope for the best, but it should be a great experience. Once again, singing Light My Fire live, Paul Duckworth is Will Young. You know that it would be untrue. You know that I would be a liar. If I was to say to you, girl, we couldn't 
Let's have very quickly and meet me Well done. Now, you are the first person that's ever said, I love the pressure. <laughs> Why, <Yeah>. you weirdo? <laughs> Strange, but the more pressure, the, the more adrenaline. But it's not just pressure, is it? It is fun too. Yeah, oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Do you minute. think your dad might give you Monday off, perhaps? I don't know. Don't I'll, know. I'll have to ask him He'll be cracking the window <laughs> down. Now, um, I know that Will Young is your hero. And so the lovely Mr. Will Young has actually sent you this picture that has been signed by him. And he says, Paul, good luck. Wear a suit next time. Lots of love, <laughs> Will Young. So that, sir, is for you. But that's not the only thing that he sent you. He also wants you to go and see him in concert. And there you go. Those are for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, for so Will Young, you'll need to call 090 -1 or text Will to 80088. The lines are open soon. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Duckworth as Will Young. Okay. Well, we have one finalist left, and you don't need to be Stephen Hawking to work out who she is. But just for our own amusement, let's ask the question one more time. Who are you? Star finalist number 10. <laughs> When Kat said the winner is Celine Dion, I couldn't believe it. And um, when I came through the smoke to perform the song again, I could see my parents' faces and they were so proud. And that just made it all really worth it for me. Um, and then when we watched the show on TV at home, we, all, we were all screaming again. It was absolutely fantastic. Everyone was really, really anxious and excited to see the show. My mum was crying and everyone was drunk. <laughs> it was a really, really good night. So surreal seeing myself. Hi Laura, Anthony Costa here from Hi. Blue. Uh, well done for getting to the grand final of Stars in Your Eyes. I've just Thank got one you. question for you. Has anything wonderful happened to you since appearing on the show? Well, I actually went to Las Vegas to see Celine Dion's show, which was amazing, by the way. Um, it was very weird to see her performing in the costume which I wore on Stars in the Rise, and very strange hearing her sing my song. The kids at the local school have made me this card with the Welsh dragon on and it says Paul Bluck Laura, which means good luck Laura, so Diochamal Plant, thank you very much. I'm really honoured to be Celine Dion for the night because when, um, when you're in costume and makeup you really do feel possessed by the artist. The reaction of people back home in Anglesey has been absolutely fantastic. They've all been coming up to me saying how proud they are of me and it's been a wonderful feeling and I'm really proud to be representing Anglesey and Wales in the show tonight. Once again, singing I Drove All Night live, Laura Sutton is Celine Dion. I'll be first, but I was 
are you, lovely? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How was that? Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. I like. Now, um, you were going to see Celine last time I saw you. Yeah. Did you see her? And oh, how yes. was it? Where were you going to see her? Um, I went to see her in Las Vegas. Very glamorous. Yeah. And was, was she great. good? She was brilliant. Really did, good. Did you pick up any tips at all? Um, a few. Yeah. A few. A few bits and pieces. Now, it yeah. must have been really hard for you because you were the first winner on our first show. I and was. then you had to watch week after week of loads of other people. And then tonight, mm. we've put you on last again, so you've had to I'm wait not. for everybody else. <laughs> How is that, going on and seeing everybody else? And oh, it's, it's been really hard today because I've got a terrible cold. <laughs> you, you're not doing what you... But you pulled it out of the bag, though. You pulled well, it out of the bag. Best. You absolutely did. Thank well done. You. And um, to, to celebrate, obviously, we have got this signed picture from Celine Dion. That, Laura, is for you. So very well done. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Good round. Now, if you want Celine Dion to become champion, call 090-1121-0110 or text Celine to 80088. It's only moments until the lines open, so get those fingers ready. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Sutton as Celine Dion. Well done, honey. your 10 finalists and one of them will become your champion for 2005 it's a very tough choice so if your brain is spinning let's remind ourselves of the names and numbers you need to cast your vote finalist number one was simon hall and he rocked our world as jesse hawkins you can rock his world tonight by calling 090-1121-0101 or text justin to 80088 Finalist number two was Paul Grant. He was back in the spotlight tonight as tall legend Luther Van Dross. You can make him a champion by calling 090-1121-0102 or text Luther to 80088. Finalist number three was Sarah Hitchcock. She gave us Dido, but you can give her the winner's title if you call 090-1121-0103 or text Dido to 80088. Finalist number four is Rob Lewis, and once again, he became drummer man Phil Collins. If Phil gets your vote, then you'll need to call 090-1121-0104, or you can text Phil to 80088. Finalist number five is Benita Knowles, and she went from Scotland to South America again as Shakira. You can send her back through the doors as a winner by calling 090-1121-0105, or text Shakira to 80088. Finalist number six was our wild card, Gordon Hendricks as Elvis Presley. Will he be crowned king? Well, that is up to you. If you call 090-1121-0106 or text Elvis to 80088. Finalist number seven was Jim Clark as Erasure frontman Andy Bell. If you want to see those sequins sparkle again, call 090-1121-0107 or text Andy to 80088. Finalist number eight was Angie Diggins as the diva Sarah Brightman. You can put her back on stage as tonight's champion by calling 090-1121-0108 or text Sarah to 80088. Finalist number nine was Paul Duckworth as Will Young. Will's won the nation's vote before, but can his sound alike do the same? You can make it happen by calling 090-1121-0109 or texting Will to 80088. And finalist number 10 was Laura Sutton as Celine Dion. Big voice, big number. Will she get the big votes? It's your choice and you can make it by calling 090-1121-0110 or texting Celine to 80088. You've got the numbers, you've got the phone, you've got the power. Ready? The lines are open now. Please get calling, our stars really earned your votes this evening. You have two hours to make your choice, so make it wisely. And if you can't get through at first, please keep on trying. Coming up next, Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway, plus Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We're back at 10 past nine for the big result. We will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. See you 10 past nine. See you then, bye. <laughs>
five. And this is what the last ten weeks have been about. It's the results. Our sound alikes have sung, and right now you're calling in in your hundreds of thousands to crown one of them this year's champion. There's nothing more they can do but wait. It's all in your hands. The lines are still open, so if you haven't called for your favourite, please do. Your vote will make a difference, and here's why. If I win the live final, I'll probably run around like a headless chicken and then break down in tears. If I win the live final, I'll dedicate it to my friends, my family, and to all the Erasure fans out there. If I win the live final, I'll laugh because I think my mum and dad will fall off the chairs. If I win the live final, I'll love it, but I'll probably collapse. If I win the live final, I'm not quite sure what I'll do. I'll probably be in a state of shock. If I win the live final, I'll never be able to stop my mum crying. If I win the live final, I'll probably treat myself to a chocolate Easter egg, because I haven't had chocolate for a while now. If I win the live final, I'll faint. If I win the live final, I'll be shocked, I'll be happy, but one thing I won't be doing is promising that I'll play the next gig in the nude, because I've done that before and it's backfired on me. <laughs> if I win the live final, I'll be the happiest man in the world. Not for me, for my mum, so she can go back to Jamaica, proud of her son. <laughs> to a live show and a huge orchestra. That is quite a journey, but it's not over yet. Only one can become a champion and they'll need your votes to do it. So here are those all important numbers one more time. Finalist number one was Simon Hall and he rocked our world as Justin Hawkins. You can rock his world tonight by calling 090-1121-0101 or text Justin to 80088. Finalist number two was Paul Grant. He was back in the spotlight tonight as soul legend Luther Van Dross. You can make him a champion by calling 090-1121-0102 or text Luther to 80088. Finalist number three was Sarah Hitchcock. She gave us Dido, but you can give her the winner's title if you call 090-1121-0103 or text Dido to 80088. Finalist number four is Rob Lewis, and once again, he became drummer man Phil Collins. If Phil gets your vote, then you'll need to call 090-1121-0104, or you can text Phil to 80088. Finalist number five is Benita Knowles, and she went from Scotland to South America again as Shakira. You can send her back through the doors as a winner by calling 090-1121-0105, or text Shakira to 80088. Finalist number six was our wild card, Gordon Hendricks as Elvis Presley. Will he be crowned king? Well, that is up to you. If you call 090-1121-0106 or text Elvis to 80088. Finalist number seven was Jim Clark as Erasure frontman Andy Bell. If you want to see those sequins sparkle again, call 090-1121-0107 or text Andy to 80088. Finalist number eight was Angie Diggins as the diva Sarah Brightman. You can put her back on stage as tonight's champion by calling 090-1121-0108 or text Sarah to 80088. Finalist number nine was Paul Duckworth as Will Young. Will's won the nation's vote before, but can his sound alike do the same? You can make it happen by calling 090-1121-0109 or texting Will to 80088. And finalist number 10 was Laura Sutton as Celine Dion. Big voice, big number. Will she get the big votes? It's your choice and you can make it by calling 090-1121-0110 or texting Celine to 80088. OK, you have just a few minutes left to make your choice and cast your vote, and it's still anyone's game. If you can't get through, please keep trying, and we'll see you in just a moment for a catch-up with our last champion and, of course, the big, big results. Stay right there. from the results.
There are very few people who know how it feels to be waiting behind these doors for the lines to close and the final votes to be counted. One of them, of course, is Manchester cab driver Charles Ngandwa, who became our 2004 champion with a stunning performance as Paul Robeson. So what's he been up to since? Still serenading customers in the taxi? Still getting stopped in the street? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Charles Ngandwa. This time last year, I won the Stars Live Final. Finalist number 10, Paul Robeson, scored a grand total of 144,460. When the results now flashed across the screen, I just couldn't believe it. I could just hear the screams from the audience in the studio. Then I knew I had won. And so walking through to, you know, to center stage, it was still there was this feeling of, you know, you know, unbelief, you know, I, I mean, have I really done it? You know, and you walk into the limelight and there you are, yes, you have won. It didn't sink in then, it actually took me, you know, many months, almost a year to sink in that I had won. I'm proud that he has won, and I'm really happy that we could share with everybody who wanted us to be with them. And it's really made our lives um, fuller for the past year. I was there on the night, and to be there in person, it was absolutely amazing, brilliant. And to see Charles in action, unbelievable. When I woke up the next morning, I tried to phone my work and I just couldn't get through. We had almost 200 telephone calls just phoning in to congratulate and say, oh, you know, how, you know, what a performance. And actually, some people were actually saying, you know, when you send a taxi, can you please send Paul Robson to come and pick us up? I've had so many people that I don't know come at work and ask me, was that your husband? He was excellent. And I felt good that Charles had done something that everybody could enjoy. To all the contestants of this year, I know how you're feeling. I've been there. Just go and enjoy this moment. You've come so far, and this is your night to shine. Good luck. Go for it. How cute. Very wise words indeed. Our 2004 champion, Charles Ngandwa, as Paul Robeson. Like all our finalists, Charles's journey to these stores started with an application form, a tape and an audition. If you sound like a star, then this is the only stage you'll need. And to get here, just call 090 11 100 300 for the form. It's 25p a call, a bit more from a mobile. And yes, 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 please ask the bill pays permission. Or you can look at details on Teletext, page 138. And you don't have to ask anyone's permission for that. OK. If you haven't been able to make up your mind between tonight's finalists, or you haven't called in yet, then put the phone down because you are now too late. Okay, <clears throat> I love this bit. Computer, will you please close the lines? <laughs> okay, they're gone. They're finished. They're out of here. The numbers have been called. The votes have been counted. We are about to reveal the Stars in the Rise winner for 2005. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, good luck, everybody. Here we go. They're sat there backstage nervously. OK, can we have the results for finalist number one? He was, of course, rock god Justin Hawkins. He scored 15,262 votes. That is a fantastic start. I think the cat team might have helped. OK, let's go now to finalist number two. He was, of course, the soul legend Luther Vandross. Vandross dressed from head to toe in lilac. He scored... 13,608 votes. He did very well, but currently in the lead is Justin Hawkins. Let's go for finalist number three. It was, of course, Dido. Let's see what she scored. She scored 14,384 votes. It's very, very good, but it's not enough to beat Justin Hawkins at the moment. Let's see if finalist number four can do that. He was the drummer man, of course. Mr. Phil Collins. He scored 27,994 votes, which means that Phil Collins is currently in the lead. 
Okay, let's see if the finalist number five, Shakira, can do anything about that. She came on, she shook a booty. She scored 13,206 votes. Great score again, but still Phil Collins in the lead. Okay, finalist number six. He was your home vote for the winner. His, he was Elvis Presley. Let's see how many votes he scored. 895 votes. So what he scored between the Elvis Presley is currently in the lead. Okay, finally to number seven is Andy Bell. He came in in sequins and sparkles. He scored 21,806 votes. Well done, Elvis still currently in the lead. Let's go for finalist number eight. It was, of course, Sarah Brightman. She scored 18,758 votes. But still, Elvis Presley is in the lead with 84,895 votes. Finalist number nine was Mr. Will Young. He got your votes last time on Pop Idol. Will he get them tonight? He scored... 26 votes. It's a great score, but still in the lead. Elvis Presley, he was your home vote winner. Can finalist number 10 do anything about it? It was, of course, Celine Dion. She had a big voice. She scored 38,852 votes. So, the starting ride champion for 2005 is... In a million years, <laughs> do you have anything that you want to say to the people at home? Because obviously they voted for you, they voted you in and they voted you the winner. Oh, I'd just like to thank everybody from my heart. Honestly, it's made me laugh. Do you think you can do it again for us? Sing yeah. one more time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon, if you'd like to go over there, sir. From over 40,000 hopefuls, 50 star guests and 10 finalists, we have our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stars in the Rise winner, Gordon Hendricks as Elvis Presley! <laughs> Don't let a good thing die. 
Sonny. You know I would never lie to you. 